everyone, and welcome to another video of Grim Dawn Ashes of Malmoth. First off, I'd like to say Happy April Fools. <laughs> if you guys haven't, please go to the forums and check out some of the changes, permanent changes coming to Grim Dawn. It's a good read. It's pretty hilarious. Well worth well worth your time, so I would recommend going doing that. Alright, so I've been a little busy with some family, and right now I'm currently pretty sick, I'm not going to lie. But I wanted to try and get at least a video out for you guys, um, so I had some family in town. I wasn't able to stream and or make videos very much, and then I ended up getting sick as well on top of that. Um, we had to take Tyr to one of his new appointments, but during that day it actually stormed really bad here and flooded everything. And we left here to get to our destination for his appointment. It was about a three hour drive. Uh, we left around like 8 a.m. and we were only 30 minutes out from our house by about noon. <laughs> so, uh, a lot of crazy stuff going on. and. Yeah, so I just wanted you guys to know, I have not abandoned Grim Dawn, or you, guys, I'm still here, and I'm going to be producing content when I can. So, schedule should be a little more or less hectic coming up. I do have my wife's parents coming into town within this month here in a couple days, so I will do my best. Alright, having all that said, getting all that out of the way, I've had a pretty big request for the Star Caller Druid. And this is a character that, as you all know, I absolutely love. I really enjoy playing this character. It's one of my favorite characters to play. Having that said, I wouldn't recommend this character for hardcore. If you guys wanted to play this character in hardcore, I do think you would eventually get killed in one shot at some point. It's just kind of inevitable with the way the game's set up, if I'm being honest. So keep that in mind. Now... I still think this build and character is very powerful, and I've kind of come up with a system here that I think works pretty well. So, really good CC, lots of AoE, really decent single target. This build can just lay waste and massive destruction to everything in its way, which I really like. It does really good AoE clear, it's good for general farming. I really like to play this character when I want to just go farm things in general, and when I'm fighting typical bosses, even most Nemesis bosses, this build deals with really well. Major weaknesses for this build are going to be bosses that charge you. So, obviously Maiden. I would not recommend fighting Maiden on this character. You're going to get beat, usually. <laughs> and it's just, that's just the name of the game. She just rushes up on you, stuns you, and just pulverizes you. Really hard for this build to deal with, considering she's basically immune to CC. Another big issue with this build is there's not a whole lot of healing capabilities with this build. And that's kind of what makes this build not so great in that area. I've even considered maybe taking Twin Fang with this setup. I just hate the fact that you're really not getting any damage benefit from that other than the Twin Fangs itself. I've done it before and it works alright, but overall I think the setup I have currently works best. So let's go over the items real quick. If you guys want to pause the video and look at the components, augments I'm using, all that stuff, please go ahead and do so. I'm still running pretty much everything the same, I believe as my last video. This probably is new, the Eternity. This thing is really good. I actually like this thing a lot. So this actually gives you a lot of damage, so it goes towards your Lightning and Cold, obviously, because the Elemental 1 skills are Arcanus, reduces energy cost skills. The Time Loop is what's really nice here. So it's a 33% chance on Critical Attack, which is going to be happening all the time, since we have so many procs going off and critting. We have really, really high OA just sitting static here. 3206 is really nice. So every time we crit, there's a 33% chance that it's going to reduce all of our other cooldowns by one second. Now there is a 4.5 second return on that, so every 4.5 seconds it can proc this ability. Still really good, and you can almost infinitely keep up your mirror at all times. So what's important about this is that this basically makes you unkillable for three seconds, right? So this is the system that I've come up with that actually does kind of make this build pretty durable, as long as you pay attention and time things out right. Same belt that I've been using, same same metal here. I really haven't found anything better, honestly, as far as DPS goes. You could use something more durable and tanky, probably, if you wanted to survive better. Um, but that's going to be totally up to you. These boots I crafted. Got the Tudor Chosen Sky Shard, which is really nice. The Sky Fragment, which is nice. And then, obviously, getting the Percent Armor and Physical Resist. And Pierce Resistance there is really nice. So this, this overall is really good for what I wanted. And it did get Percent Health. You know, it's just a pretty durable piece of armor that actually does give offensive damage and abilities, which is real good. Eastern Guard Gloves. So we are using the Eastern Gloves and the Eastern Pants. The reason why this is important is because the Eastern set actually rolls with a lot of uh, percent physical resist on it. Um, that's one of the issues with the Trojan set, and there's actually been some talk about it on the forums. People are actually hoping that Crate will buff the Trojan set and give a little more defensive capabilities on it, like physical resist, things like that, because 
it's one of the things that this class suffers with is being able to survive in some some situations not always but some situations all right so we're highlighting everything this is really good ambulance so keep in mind this helmet here is really important because it's giving us that uh, ten percent elemental resistance reduction on top of your wind devil on top of all the other skills that we're reducing their elemental resist with so that's really nice so we'll look over skills real quick. As always, everything is pretty much the same, I believe. I may have switched a few things around. I think I picked up more points in Overload uh, since my last video. You can compare and contrast if you'd like, but this is basically finalized. Everything that I'm running right now, this is what I've been sticking with for quite some time now. And I'm really enjoying it. I think it's working out well. So you can see Raging Tempest has a 35% elemental resistance reduction on top of the 10% from the helm. So that's 45% alone just in this skill against our elemental damage types, which is really nice. So this is... A really, really good setup. You're going to have a lot of elemental pierce, which is really good, so that's important. Everything else is about the same, like I said. So let's go over Devotion real quick. So this did change. I have moved Devotions around. One of the reasons I did move them around to where I did is it does give me a little more HP, a little more resistances. It does give me a little more tankiness through defensive ability. Grab stuff like Solemn Watcher. The one thing that I did give up... Definitely grab this over here, by the way. This is really important for this setup, and I'll talk about that here in a second. I have that linked to our Trojan Sky Shards. All right, so we're still getting the flat elemental pierce here. We're still getting the percent elemental reduction here. So that's 45%, another 25%, and then this is another flat 32. So flat is really powerful, especially when you have all this percent stacking up as well. And then we're using the Seal of Corruption, which gives us another 8% lightning. Uh, resistance reduction and then we have this right here arcane bomb which is doing another 35 percent lightning resistance reduction which is really important so keep that in mind guys everything else like i said was just for getting some defensive ability like quill for example and some more health and resistances needed in the categories that were needed so the one major thing we gave up was the rumor rumor was giving us a lot of damage it is doing percent cold resistance reduction which is very very powerful but I felt like this little tiny hit and loss of DPS was well worth a lot of the other things that I picked up as far as survivability goes. Alright, so that's basically everything as far as skills and everything go. I did end up pumping all of my points into physique, and that was basically just to try to make this guy as tanky and durable as possible. You can see that I have 28-49 defensive abilities, so my chance to be hit based off the last thing that I fought uh, was only a 69% chance, 69.9, so almost 70% chance, but my chance to be created is zero. And that's very important. I mean, like I said, as far as general farming goes, this character has literally zero issues. It's only like some of the big, beefy, awesome bosses um, that it sometimes has issues with based on what that boss does. But it does deal with a lot of the range bosses very easily, so, <laughs> you know, obviously I wouldn't try to go hunt down Maiden and farm Maiden on this character. It just wouldn't make sense. Anyway, let's get into some gameplay, and I'm going to show you guys what I was talking about with why I like this build so much.
So there you have it. You can see it's a very powerful build. It does a lot of damage, has really good crowd control, and as long as you time out your mirror and keep your distance and do what you're supposed to be doing, you can actually survive a lot of situations and kill a lot of hard bosses. You saw that I killed Gravathol there, and he's probably one of the hardest Nemesis bosses in the game. So, very strong build. Just got to keep in mind, pay attention, and just, you know, know what you're doing. But, so let's go over some combos real quick. So you don't always have to do this, but a good way to initiate a lot of fights is to run in, pop your mirror first, depending on what is in the area, what monsters you're fighting. You don't have to do this always, but it is really cool to run in, pop your mirror first, hit something with your Trojan Sky Shard, and then almost immediately you have your mirror back again. You can see right here, my mirror's already back up. So that's a really, really good initiator. This allows you to block something on incoming damage. For example, a lot of these Ethereal Titans, they can be charging you, you have that mirror up, you won't take any damage, and then your mirror is basically back up again. What's also really nice about this is that, theoretically, this cooldown being spammed like it is, this basically lets you drop a Trojan Sky Shard and then drop another one immediately after. So this really, theoretically, is a DPS increase as well as a defensive capability. It's really, really nice. It's good combo synergy. So that's just what I've been doing with this character. I really enjoy it. I think it's very strong. As you can see, I demonstrated what it was capable of. As always, whenever you're playing this character, you want to try to stay around your totems and your siege. You kind of set up like a tower defense is how this character works. And you want to play around that and kite enemies into this and just try to stay around stuff like this. So you can basically keep consistent DPS up while surviving. Alright guys, well that's it. As always, appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos. If you guys haven't, please like, comment, subscribe. And if you would like to come hang out and check out the stream, please do. Uh, hopefully I can start doing some giveaways of some sort. That would be really cool to do. Um, it would be nice to give back to the community and all the support you guys have given me. So I'll try to get something going on that. We'll see what happens. Anyways, as always, thank you for taking time to watch. Everybody take care, and I will see you guys next time.